Hello again folks, Eric Pearson here with another gaming demonstration. This one comes to me as a birthday gift from my old friend Pacho Black. Patchy, I want to extend to you my heartfelt thanks for gifting me this game so I can share a playthrough with you and all of my other friends. This game is a decidedly lo-fi platform action game. This is very much like the arcade games I used to enjoy playing as a kid. So, let's show you around here. So this game can be played either solo or in online co-op mode. I usually play solo, but there are a lot of different ways to play even if you're playing solo. I'll show you. First of all, we have several game modes. We have the classic mode, which is standard police work. We have the infinity tower, which is randomly generated mayhem. We even have a zombie invasion mode where zombies invade the fictitious Nowhere City. I think I'll save that for Halloween. So let's go into classic mode. Classic mode is divided into five chapters of 12 missions each. We have Gangland, The Radicals, Red Alert, The Big Apple, and Cartel Territory. We also have weekly challenges as well. Since this is just a basic demonstration, I'm going to start with Gangland. Now, as I said, there are 12 missions. It took me about 21, 22 hours of play to get through all of the missions, and then it probably took me another 5 or 6 to get 3 stars on each mission. Now, the more stars you earn, the more additional weapons and equipment that you can unlock, and I'll show you that in a moment. We're going to start with the first mission, which is a basic hostage rescue. Assault ready. Now, by default, it shows you the assaulter class of SWAT operative, but there are others. Let me show you. We have the assaulter. We have the breacher, who is armed with a shotgun. The shield, who has a pistol, but a very strong shield. Agent Fergie, who has the ability to wield two pistols at once, and the Recon, who is fast and stealthy, but a weaker automatic pistol. My usual go-to in most cases is the Assaulter, uh, because he's fairly strong, his weapons are strong, and reasonably accurate, which means that we can take down bad guys quickly, and hopefully without accidentally wounding or killing hostages. Ready. Now, each character has various skills that you can upgrade as you continue to build experience points. And what's nice about this is that you can unlock various abilities, like for example, double med kits. Each med kit can be used twice. And I can adjust these up or down as I want, so you're not really locked in per se. We have physical attributes such as increasing player health, uh, carrying extra gear, extra speed for your character, things like that. We also have accuracy. Accuracy is critical as well uh, because naturally you want to be able to take down the bad guys quickly and you also want to make sure that stray shots don't hit hostages. Now, I'm going to unlock this. This is your strategic reserve bonus, where your strategic bar gains two extra points. That will come in very handy, as I will demonstrate soon. So everything else looks pretty good. I, can, I have a vastly decreased recoil on my weapon, which is good. So I'm going to commit to these changes. I can make changes later if I want to adjust my play style. Now... Our primary weapon is the M4A1 carbine, but you can choose others. For example, the P90, which has a high rate of fire, but not a lot of damage per shot. There's also the MCX300 carbine. I'm going to go with the M4A1, and you'll notice it has an additional special ability called the Aimed Shot. This is a single, highly accurate, laser-guided shot 
That's good for taking out bad guys from a distance, and also if you want to take out enemies without accidentally winging hostages. We also have a selection of gear. I've chosen the improved body armor. It gives me extra protection at a penalty to my speed, but since I upgraded my speed in skills, it's a bit of a wash. I also have the flashbang, which is a stun grenade. That's good for stunning enemies before they have a chance to kill hostages. But, so that you can see, we also have the frag grenade, the smoke grenade, the breaching charge, and instant reload of our weapon. The flashbang, again, is a good all-rounder. You also have ultimate forms of support. You have the choice of either sniper support or the light machine gun. I usually go with the sniper support, and I'll explain this, how this works, in a moment. But first, let's get started. Okay, so here we are outside of a house at winter time. Looks like we have a Christmas tree in the living room. Sorry, I'm drinking in the 80s nostalgia here. The music is very Miami Vice here. You know, something that was popular during my childhood. So we can see that on the other side of the door we have a basic bad guy with a gun and we have another guy with a machete. On the upper floor, we have two machete guys and another um, gentleman with a gun. And also in the room is a hostage. We'll have to rescue her in a minute. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to demonstrate the flashbang. I'm going to open the door, toss in the flashbang, and while they're stunned, take them down. Like so. Okay. That's them down. Oop. Yep. Nope. Stopped him, too. Now, you'll notice here, there's an icon that allows me to interact with parts of the scenery. Like, for example, I can decorate the Christmas tree. La la la, so nice. So, one of my gifts will be to the hostages, where they will soon find safety and freedom. To the bad guys who have taken over this household, my gift to them will be a swift death. So, that all said... Let's take a look. Got another bad guy here. Now you'll notice every time I take down a bad guy, the meter in the upper left corner, that's my strategy meter. The more I fill that up, the wider the variety of buffs that I can summon for my SWAT operative. Like for example, body armor, gear refill, a med kit, I don't have enough for that. An extra life, still not enough for that, and sniper support. So we still need to rescue some hostages and take down some more bad guys. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to open this door. There. That was a sniper shot right there. With my aimed shot capability on my rifle. Now I'm going to rescue these hostages. Notice the meter filled up even more. I have enough to unlock an extra life, but I won't need that. Now here, I can go upstairs. And I'm going to open this door and take down this guy from a distance with another aimed shot, like so. There. Now I have enough to do sniper support. But first, let's free this hostage. Very good. Alright, so we've got... Three bad guys in the room with a hostage. So I'm going to hold down my left button and summon sniper support where up to three guys can be taken out by a sniper off map. So here we go. All right. So now all that remains is to rescue the last hostage. Thank you. Mission accomplished. And so I've unlocked three stars for this mission. Looks like we did this in about three and a half minutes, saved all four hostages, no casualties, and an accuracy of 84.2%. So there you have it. There's my brief demonstration of Door Kicker's Action Squad. 
I plan to do some more demonstrations of this game, uh, and I'll explain more of the finer points of this game when that happens. But for now, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Eric Pearson, signing off.